Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to sort numbers using bubble sort algorithm now guys the bubble sort uses a straightforward logic that works by repeating swapping the adjacent elements if they are not in the right order so guys basically we are going to compare a pair of numbers and then we will swap them if they are not in the correct order now it compares one pair at a time and swaps if the first element is greater than the second element otherwise move further to the next pair pair of elements for comparison so guys basically we are going to take one pair at a time and swap the numbers if the first element is greater than the second element over here so as you can see for example we have this list 1 and then we have these numbers that is 5 3 8 6 7 and then 2 now it compares the first two elements and here 5 is greater than 3 and then swap with each other now we get the new list that is 3 5 8 6 7 2 so guys basically the first two numbers are compared over here and if the first element is greater than the second element then we need to swap both the numbers and that is why we have got this result that is 3 5 8 6 7 2 now in the second comparison again we will take this number that is the second element with the third element over here that is 8 so since 5 is less than 8 then there is no swapping that is occurring and that is why we have got 3 5 8 6 7 2 the positions are not changed over here now in the third comparison what we do is we take the number 8 so since 8 is greater than 6 now that is the next number we swap both these numbers that is 6 and 8 so guys in this way we compare a pair of numbers at a time and ultimately we get all the numbers sorted after the end of the program so guys let us check this python program in order to implement the bubble sort algorithm in vs code so guys over here what we will do is the very first thing is we are going to define the list that is list 1 and then we will keep the same list over here that is this list that we have seen so i'll just copy this and paste this over here now guys what we will do is i'll simply print the original list over here so we will say original list and then colon and then we can simply provide the list 1 over here so we have list 1 and then what we can do is simply i'll copy and paste this line of code again but this time we will be printing the sorted list over here and it will be returned from a function so we are going to define a function over here the function name will be bubble sort so over here we have bubble underscore sort and then it is going to take one parameter that is the list 1 so guys this list 1 we are going to pass to this bubble sort function which we are going to define now as a parameter so guys basically what we can do is before this list 1 we can define this bubble sort function so we have def keyword followed by this bubble sort function name so i'll just copy this and paste this over here and it is going to take the parameter which will be list 1 again so guys basically this list 1 is being passed as a parameter to this bubble sort and we are taking it over here as the parameter now guys we can use the for loop in order to iterate through all these elements of the list and sort them accordingly so basically we are going to have the first for loop for i in range and then this range it will go from 0 up to guys we have to go from 0 up to the second last element over here because after this last element there is no other element that will be remaining in order to compare them so basically it will be the length of this list 1 minus 1 in this case so over here we will say length of list 1 that is being passed and then minus 1 in this case so basically the length of this list is 6 So six minus one, it will be five. So it will go from zero up to five. In which case, it will only go from zero up to four because the last element will not be considered. So this is zero, one, two, three, and then four. So this is the second last element up to which this for loop will be iterating. So after this, we have colon, and then what we have to do is we have to have the nested loop again. So we have for j. in range and then again this will be going to the second last element over here so the second last element it will be equal to length of list 1 again so we have length of list 1 and then minus 1 in this case so guys both these for loops are going up to the second last element over here because after the last element we don't have any other elements which can be compared with that last element over here now guys this j the element is pointing to the first element over here right now so what we have to do is we have to compare this j the element with j plus 1 over here so simply we can check over here if list 1 that is this list 1 of j element so this j the element this 5 is it greater than 3 so over here we will check is it greater than list 1 of j plus 1 this time 
so we say j plus 1 over here so guys if this condition is true which means that jth element that is the first element is greater than the second element then we need to swap both the elements so over here what we will do is we will provide a temporary variable and then we will assign it the value of the jth position over here that is 5 is being stored in this temporary variable and then we need to assign the second element to the first element and then the first element which was stored in the temporary variable should be stored in the second element over here so we can simply provide list 1 of j it is equal to list 1 of j plus 1 this time so the second element is assigned to the first element and then what we can do is the second element that is list 1 of j plus 1 it will be assigned the value of the temporary variable that is temp over here so guys in this way if the first element is greater than the second element over here we are simply swapping both the elements and then after this a control flow will go to the next j element that is the second element over here now next time this 5 which will be at this position that is the second element will be compared with this third element over here and then again based on the conditions the elements will be swapped and the entire list will be sorted accordingly now guys after both these for loops what we can do is simply we can return the list one which is having the sorted number so over here we are just returning the list one now guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we have the original list as 538672 and then the sorted list we are having it as 235678 so in the sorted list we are having all the numbers which are already sorted now so guys this is a very simple sorting algorithm that is the bubble sort algorithm that you can use in order to sort the list of elements guys after each iteration of this outer for loop we have the largest number being placed at the last position followed by the second last position and so on so you can verify that by printing the list after this in a for loop so over here what we can do is simply we can print the list one over here so we have list one so guys basically you will be able to see all the steps that are happening inside the outer for loop so let me just save this file now and try running this code so we have provided the print statement after the outer for loop it should be inside the outer for loop and outside the inner for loop so after this inner for loop we have this print statement which is present inside the outer for loop over here let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see the original list it is 538672 now the largest number out of all these numbers it is equal to 8 so 8 is being placed over here at the last position after the first iteration of the outer for loop now after the second iteration of the outer for loop the next highest number is 7 which is coming at the second last position and then the next highest number is 6 which is coming at the third last position and so on all the numbers are getting sorted over here the highest numbers are getting placed at the correct position after each iteration of the outer for loop in the bubble sort and then guys in the end we have this 3 2 5 6 7 8 so the last highest number that is 3 it is getting the correct position over here so we are getting 2 3 5 6 7 8 and then we are returning the sorted list over here now guys let us check another list of numbers over here in order to see whether it works with the other set of numbers or not so let's say we have have 100 over here and then comma we have minus 2 and then we have 45 and then we have let's say 32 and then let's say we have negative 10 and then the last number let's say we have 9 over here so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see we have the sorted list as minus 10 minus 2 9 32 45 and then 100 so guys this bubble sort algorithm works perfectly in order to sort the list of numbers whatever list of numbers you are providing you will get the sorted list at the end of this program please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to print the right triangle star pattern so stay tuned